Hi, my name is John Austin, Product Marketing Manager at Microchip Technology. This video will give you a brief overview of the MCP4546XX Digital Potentiometer Family and demonstrate the MCP46XX EV Evaluation Board. In basic terms, a digital potentiometer is a three-terminal device where two of the terminals are connected to either end of a string of series resistance values. The terminal W can be varied between the two terminals A and B. The resolution of the resistor string depends on the number of resistors in the string. This is illustrated in the diagram on the left. In this case, there are 256 resistors, or 8 bits of resolution. This is more accurately demonstrated in the diagram on the right. The digital potentiometer consists of a series of resistors where each resistor is connected to the wiper terminal via a switch. This allows the user to move the wiper to various locations on the resistor string, which will vary the resistance values of RAW and RVW. So why use a potentiometer? The main reason I have seen for using a digital potentiometer today is to add design and system flexibility to improve manufacturing throughput or lowering manufacturing costs by replacing a traditional manually controlled digital potentiometer with a newer digitally controlled counterpart. Other benefits to using a digitally controlled potentiometer is that there is no mechanical wear out, they are not sensitive to vibration, and they are much smaller in size than traditional mechanical potentiometers. The digital control also allows for increased system flexibility, such as infield calibration and programmability. Now that we have reviewed the functionality and some of the benefits of a digital potentiometer, I will discuss the attributes of the MCP46XX, which is the device being evaluated using the MCP46XX EV Evaluation Board. The MCP46XX is a dual-channel digital potentiometer with an I2C interface. This device family is offered in both 7 and 8 bit resolution with or without non volatile memory. The non volatile memory allows the device to maintain the wiper location when power is removed. This is beneficial in applications where the digital potentiometer is not connected to a microcontroller. These devices are specified over the extended industrial temperature range and offered in resistance values of 5, 10, 50, and 100 K ohm. Now that we understand what the MCP46XX is, we can discuss a simple tool to help you easily evaluate the performance of this device family. The MCP46XX EV Evaluation Board comes with a blank TSSOP20 Evaluation Board and one TSSOP Evaluation Board populated with a 10K ohm MCP46XX device. The MCP46XX has two resistor networks with the device resistor network 0 configured in a potentiometer mode with the A terminal connected to VDD and the B terminal connected to VSS. The device resistor network 1 can be evaluated for rheostat operation. Navigate to the MCP46XX EV webpage and open the MCP46XX EV comscripts.txt. You will need to cut and paste the contents into the PitKit Serial Analyzer's comscript.txt file and save the file. Do not rename the file or move its location. The PitKit serial comscript.txt can be found on your PC at this location. Now we need to configure the PitKit to communicate with the MCP46XX EV Evaluation Board. In the upper right, you will need to click on the PitKit Serial Analyzer tab. From the drop-down menu, select Select Communications Mode, then select I2C Master. Now click on the PitKit Serial Analyzer tab again, but this time select Configure Communications Mode. This will open a new window. Ensure that you have the same configuration as what is on the screen, and then click Save Changes. I have listed the Comscript's mcp46xx.txt file here with a description of its function for your reference. I am not going to go through each command, but rather go through an example of using the Comscript's with the PitKit Serial Analyzer. Now let's run through an example of using the mcp46xx EV with the PitKit Serial Analyzer. Plug the PitKit serial device into the PC USB port. Plug the MCP46XX EV evaluation board into the PitKit serial. Start the PitKit serial GUI. Ensure the GUI is in I2C communications mode. Ensure that the master I2C configuration is appropriately configured. Measure the wiper zero voltage on the MCP46XX EV evaluation board using an oscilloscope or digital multimeter. Measure voltage from the ground plane to the wiper. The voltage on the wiper should be VDD over 2. Open the script builder window. Double click on the MCP4661W0WR 
script in the example I2CM script column. This loads the script detail column. Click on the execute script button. This executes the script shown in the script detail column, which will update the wiper value to 7F hex. The wiper voltage will now be VDD over 2. Select the MCP4661 word script in the user I2CM script column. Click on the execute script button. This executes the script shown in the script detail column. Double click on the MCP4661 W0WR script in the example I2CM script column. This loads the script detail column. Modify the fourth byte to FF. Click on the execute script button. This executes the script shown in the script detail column, which will update the wiper value to FF hex. The wiper voltage will now be VDD. I hope that this tutorial of using the MCP46XXEV evaluation board with the PitKit Serial Analyzer was useful for you and allows you to more easily continue your evaluation of the MCP46XX digital potentiometer family. For more information, please visit www.microchip.com forward slash MCP46XXEV. Thank you for watching.